start this what are all the steps to approach an as an agile coach for a team okay to either uh, enrich them in agile knowledge and practices or to repair their existing process tell me what is the first step to do where to start feasibility feasibility so first is yes on leadership discussion so what is the outcome of that exercises with the leadership with discussion we'll try to find out what is the issue they are facing and yeah. what is the impact of it correct what is the problem areas we need to address for this assignment right and after which we are doing the feasibility study where we are checking whether we are able to equip to you know deal with that or you need any additional support or you are denying this one right or it is out of span of yours okay great and after doing this we are devising a contract so what is a very important uh, note on the contract so contract usually any contract will have all this time cost right scope but on top of it what agile coach has to be very specific in a coaching contract what approach they are going to follow the what what is our approach framework. what else which framework is the frame okay what else and also oh. we should try to yes. clause right the information should not be hidden we should be handed hidden. over yeah confidential agreements okay what is that georgi sorry you... a scope right the scope will be there what is in scope what is out of scope for us right based on the problem area we have to derive and on all top of it what we have to explain we have to write clearly there we also tell them that we need the data which we requested yes. request from and the team the resources hmm. okay great just one more success criteria right yeah yes. what is the metric for yourself so okay i am contributing the work but we have to measure uh, on a certain metric of whether we have done the assignment well right so we have to derive the success criteria after deriving the success criteria what's the next step assess analysis assess analysis okay how uh, thomas how what are your plans to do assess analysis doing an overall discovery of what you going to do Right. maturity assessment so maturity yeah. assessment actually it will be see if you you know all the tools are uh, tacmans swifari and pi dysfunction so you the tools will be helpful for you to observe the system okay, okay? whether to take one hard tool and to get implemented that's up to you you even you can use this agile web or whatever you want but whether you want to take it as a tool assessment or an observational assessment it depends upon the organization okay okay after doing this assess analysis what is the next step how you are going to do your root cause analysis ishikawa we can use ishikawa diagram and also this ah, agile okay. principle radar chart radar chart agile principle web okay and value stream mapping value stream mapping yeah. yeah okay fine and uh, great so now with that you will have very good clarity okay where, what is the system where they are lagging on agility in which areas they need to improve okay so for this only whatever we saw this morning right that system view will be very much useful okay and observation versus judgmental right all these are very useful okay after doing this we are going into road map creation road map. Uh, what should be there in the road map uh, the road map should have the plan for week by week plan based on the timeline or a milestone we should come okay. up with what as agile coach what we are planning uh starting with observation mm. mentoring mm. coaching teaching based on the finally it will be more of a mentoring when you reach the stage and mm. nice Great. and the plan plan should mm. would be created on based on sprint wise like mm. in sprint 1 uh, what the agile mm. coach will be doing and then in sprint 2 how the role will keep on changing mm. but mm. mentoring will be continue in all the phases nice very nice good observation punam so take road map also in iteration way not as a big bang right yeah. if there are some 10 teams or 20 teams don't take all together take in one or two teams improving their maturity take the other team okay so they will start with training mentoring coaching once they are going into coaching take the other team once the second team goes to the coaching take the other team right so it is an iterative approach we are taking for the road map implementation no, for it will be training coaching mentoring right no training mentoring so training yeah. after training immediately mentoring will come so make them practice of whatever the new skills they have acquired so training mentoring and then coaching, coaching. yeah and then facilitation is uh, horizontal i mean it will cut across whatever the maturity facilitation tech, uh, tools will be very much useful okay to be frank coaching also but we don't deploy very sooner so if you go to the team on the first day instead of uh, no teaching them what what is the agile 
if you keep on asking them how can you implement agile what is the answer you need certain degree of maturity for them to uh, answer your powerful questions isn't it so that's why we take a uh, some time to implement coaching up okay so that is what shihari said right shu training ha coaching right re advising more <laughs> great after this phase where we are after road map creation we will start with a pilot batch for a team and we'll come up with a success criteria yes yes yeah, yeah. and, and then, then we'll the, start with the, the uh, pilot the batch plan. some few teams so yes. what we will do with that few teams now first we will observe the team ah and see where they are lagging and mm. all in the ah. parallel we can for one week we can observe ah. Mm. and then we'll start with a training plan we we'll come up with a training plan and come up with a coach backlog okay okay and then we'll try to talk mm-hmm. with the client this is a thing which we have observed as a lagging mm. this is the yeah. gap in the team mm. so we we'll come up with a training plan as an action item and then we'll start with a training and coaching mm. them and then we'll review mm. it on a sprint by sprint basis where yes. we are great so we start training on their knowledge deficit areas right uh, after the training what we can do is before even jumping into the implementation plan you can start with um ways of working also right it's a nice place to inject the ways of working okay and uh, what we derive usually in uh, that social contract or team norms whatever we call wherever we have identified few items right so mm. where the team has to improve we make it as a work agreement let's mm. say mm. they have to commit to deliverable they they are yeah. not updating the jira mm. or any tool with the tickets we have to have to update it and one story point means mm. to that means we have to coming up based on the team mm. we'll come up with few as a work agreement which we yeah. as a team we have to stick on allow the team to derive their own team norms yes. by themselves okay so don't enforce any of your rules on them so they, when there is a collective discussion they will come up with okay these are all areas we need to you know uh, be in the stone so that will be and uh, you know what to say it will bloom from the team okay not to be enforced out from the outside so along with this try to if they are going for scrum try to derive the dod dor okay okay after this phase teaching is done now what is the next one then we will start implementing it in a practice in a one sprint for the team yes we'll see attend all the join every call and be a silent observer and see what they how they are what Actually, are they this learned? is a mentoring phase in fact you doesn't have to be very silent at this phase madhavita you mm-hmm. as a mentor first call upon each role and do mentoring for example mm-hmm. call the product owner or product person and do product mentoring Mm-hmm. how to slice how to write or uh, use stories how to prioritize okay on uh, on the other side pri- no call these um, if it is a scrum call the scrum master or if it is another framework call the respective you know position facilitator to provide this scrum master facilitation techniques okay so mentor them so that's a second level of mentoring mentoring of teams so what we have to do start the kick off meeting okay and uh, from right from the sprint planning meeting to the retro be with them not just as an observer but wherever there is a uh, knowledge gap or uh, they are deviating from the practices you can be having a very firm tone to no 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 don't do this way do this way okay so there will be a lot of things so this interruption is at this stage is very much needed that's why we say it's four mandatory skills for an agile coach not just only one one skill right so for okay. example in a backlog refinement meeting uh, one person a very senior person is saying hey, i feel this is a 13 then every others are agreeing for that 13 point so you should say no 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 please stop let's yeah, can just discuss take- collectively right so it's an ijack so group thing so to stop that and then slow down and then i uh, know start from the scratch of a collective planning focus likewise you can interrupt that the team at this phase only on the mentoring okay so after which uh, when you feel that they are okay good they are going into a good practices right way of agility then take the coaching approach for that don't keep on providing uh, solutions rather switch to the coaching zone coach. okay so what tools you need for coaching what is who is a coach what is the best practice to the coach say personally i'll say uh, whenever i am doing so we will do uh, at least 15 minutes of coaching conversation with each one of the stakeholder okay that will be very useful for you to build your coach backlog okay so you say you are having as of now you are an scrum master and you are a team 
apart from the group events have individual coaching conversation with each one of your team members at least for 15 minutes per sprint and you are having your product owner but beyond product owner you are seeing someone uh, for example product head or uh, you know on site delivery manager someone like that all for from them also have 15 minutes coaching conversation it will be very very useful okay after this you are going into facilitation coaching zone right then you can have all your tools which whichever we saw from this morning right you can take up any tool customize the metrics for the team right customize the uh, no assessment uh, process assessment for the team if needed and measure them in a periodic way for their continuous improvement so some of the additional tools we can give for each one is for people to assess for the people's or no journey line there is something called journey line and visioning activity okay so people currently here where vision what is our goals right so you can use these tools for process there is something called Pro- agile 101 okay so you can download the pdf for process assessment and cycle time workshop you can conduct something called cycle time workshop to assess what is the specific areas we are taking and how much time so what is the difference between lead time and cycle time lead time is from end to end okay c to c Cycle time is one part of the process if you are measuring, that is cycle time, okay? And for product, which is very useful is product visioning, user persona mapping, okay, story mapping, impact mapping, all these tools are very useful for product assessments, okay? For technology, excellent tool is XP workshop. You are having 12 practices, right? In XP, you can take one each, one C, how much percentage we have implemented in our system. That itself will give you a lot of technological TDD, pair programming right code standards will give you a very visualization of where we stand okay so these are all additional tools for you to uh, you know assess each one of the parameters